Can I start now? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Good evening. Um, myself, Anisha Suresh. Welcome back to NPTEL PMRF Tutorials on the course Introductory Organic Chemistry 2 by Professor Harina Chakrapani and Professor Niraja Deshaputre. I am from uh, IIT Bombay. I will be conducting weekly live... Excuse me. I will be conducting weekly lively sessions on all Tuesdays from 6 to 7 p.m. where I will be discussing previous year assignment questions. So today we are going to discuss week 2 assignment questions. Can we move forward towards uh, question number 1? This is question 1 where sorry. This is question 1. Uh, the structure that contributes the most towards the stability of cationic intermediate during bromination is and they have given different structures for intermediates. So here as we can see uh, this is a bromination reaction on n and dimethyl benzene. So we can see how bromination reaction is taking place on n and dimethyl benzene. So this is the structure of n and dimethyl benzene. And this N and dimethyl group is um, like electron donating as it can uh, involve in uh, resonance uh, resonance effect uh, with this lone pair of electrons. Here this lone pair of electrons on this nitrogen atom will be pushed in this direction. Uh, then uh, the double bond will shift in this direction creating a negative charge at the ortho position. We all know that these, are, these two are ortho position, these two are meta position and this is para position. So a negative charge is generated at the ortho position. Then this uh, negative charge uh, can shift in this direction. Again like resonance can take place, this negative charge can shift in this direction and this double bond will be uh, shifting in this direction generating an anion at this para position. Then again uh, this, uh, this uh, anion can involve in resonance it can push in this direction and this double bond will shift in this direction creating a negative charge at this uh, ortho position so this is the resonance hybrid structure where we can see uh, a negative charge is formed at both the ortho position and the para position thus we can uh, know that this n and dimethyl group is ortho para directing group so electrophilic substitution is taking place so uh, if there is a negative charge that negative charge can go and attack on the electrophile and hence the substitution can take place why not a meta substitution is taking place we can see if the meta substitution is taking place like the benzene will directly attack on this bromine uh, like a bond will be formed uh, at this position and a positive charge or carbocation is formed at the para position then uh, it can involve in resonance uh, and uh, like this double bond can shift a positive charge will generate at this position then uh, this double bond can shift a positive charge will be generated at this position however this n and dimethyl group is not involving in this resonance and because of that uh, the uh, intermediates these intermediates formed are really unstable because of that meta substitution is highly unfavored is this clear for everyone Hello. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we can go back to the question, and they have given these three intermediates A, B, and C. Uh, here we can see uh, here there might uh, there was a double bond in uh, n and dimethyl uh, benzene or aniline. Then uh, it will attack at uh, bromine. A positive charge is generated at this meta position and bromine will be added at this position however this n and dimethyl group is not participating in this uh, like uh, reaction to form this intermediate so this a is not favored b whatever is uh, shown here is formed when this double bond will shift in this direction to neutralize this uh, cation hence a positive charge will be generated here and this carbocation is highly unstable because uh, because of inductive effect uh, this uh, of this nitrogen atom this carbocation will be destabilized so this uh, option b can also be ruled out then what is option c when this uh, double bond will shift in this direction a carbocation will be generated in this position 
as we have seen option a uh, also and option b also are not involving this n and dimethyl group in the uh, reson uh, resonance uh, similarly option c also not involving this n and dimethyl group hence this uh, intermediate is also not possible like it is highly unstable as we have seen in the uh, discussion of, of mechanism of bromination this option d involves this n and dimethyl group and this bromination is taking place at para position we have seen that n and dimethyl group is ortho or para directing and in this intermediate they have shown that uh, a pa uh, this para substitution have uh, have been shown so this is the right option so answer is d is this clear why we are eliminating other possibilities and uh, why option D is the correct answer? Hello? Okay, ma'am. Okay. Now we can go to question 2. This is question 2. The major product of the following reaction is they have given a substituted benzene, acetic anhydride, and AlCl3 and they, uh, these are the four options for product they have given so what is the reaction that is taking place any idea like uh, as per our previous lectures we have discussed this reaction this is a name reaction so can you guess what is the name reaction what is the name reaction that is taking place here Any idea? It is a uh, Friedel-Craft acylation reaction. We can see acetic anhydride is also there. AlCl3 which is a Lewis acid is also there. So these are the reagents used for Friedel-Craft acylation reaction. Can you recall? So uh, we have discussed about Friedel-Craft acylation reaction in previous lecture also. So today also I will be going through the mechanism of Friedel-Craft acylation reaction. So as we can see, this is acetic anhydride where here uh, it will be CH3CH3 CH3 instead of R groups. Then the lone pair of electron on this oxygen can uh, coordinate with this um, aluminium of AlCl3 and form this intermediate. Then this lone pair of electron from oxygen will push in this direction and this group will be eliminated giving acylium ion which is the key intermediate for Friedel-Craft acylation reaction. So here we can see this is the mechanism for the reaction that is taking place here. There are two substituents F, uh, fluoro as well as methoxy. We know that uh, this fluoro group which is a halogen these have uh, like a lesser react like a effect towards a electrophilic substitution like they are ortho para directing however their reaction rates are very low in case of methoxy compared to the normal benzene the reaction rates are very higher and it is also ortho para directing this methoxy group is also ortho para directing so what are the uh, or ortho position and the para position for this methoxy this is the ortho position this is the para position one ortho position is blocked because of this fluorine so uh, these two positions uh, like acyl uh, this acylation can take place so why ortho substitution is not taking place when ortho substitution take place we can see a um, this uh, three groups will be coming together three sub the substitutions coming will be all together like uh, at three adjacent positions so steric uh, concern will be coming into picture so because of that uh, at ortho position acylation is not taking place and at para position acylation will take place uh, now uh, do you understand why uh, at this position acylation is taking place hello Ma'am, if you don't mind, once again repeat that, ma'am. Yes, sure, sure. Like, uh, uh, out of this fluoro and methoxy, fluoro is uh, less, like, uh, fluoro have less effect on this um, electro, uh, electrophilic substitution. Fluoro is also ortho-para directing group, but its reactivity towards that uh, electrophilic substitution is uh, comparatively lower compared to methoxy group. 
so methoxy group will be uh, directing this electrophile which is the acylium ion in this case so uh, for this methoxy group ortho position is these two like where fluoro is there and uh, this position is ortho position for this methoxy group and uh, this is the para position for methoxy group understand yes ma'am hmm. so uh, we have to see like out of these two positions which position will be uh, favored uh, for giving the major product when ortho substituted product is forming like three adjacent substitutions are coming like fluoro is there methoxy is there and that acyl group is also coming so it will be sterically more uh, hindered uh, kind of uh, substitution when para substitution is uh, uh, like taking place that steric uh, concern will not be there so that is why para substitution is taking place in this case is it clear now yes ma'am clear okay so now uh, this uh, elect lone pair of electron from methoxy will pull pull in this direction then this uh, double bond on this uh, benzene ring uh, will shift in this direction and from the para position uh, this uh, electron will go electron density will go and attack on this car carbon and this oxy uh, electron density will be pushed in such a way that this uh, positive charge on the oxygen will be neutralized then we will get an intermediate like this as we can see here so here the aromaticity of the benzene ring is disturbed so the driving force for the next next reaction is regaining the aromaticity for that any base will be present in the reaction medium that base can abstract this hydrogen atom electron density will be pushed in this direction it will shift in this direction and this uh, positive charge on oxygen will be neutralized giving our desired product so this is the major product that is formed in the reaction so coming back to our question they have given four options out of this para substitute like uh, para substituted uh, this uh, acyl group to the methoxy group will be the major product so the correct answer is option c is it clear yes ma'am okay now we can move forward towards uh, question 3 so this is the question the following reaction yields here a substituted like a um, ortho substituted chlorobenzene is given and the reagents are sodamide in liquid ammonia and four options are given so they are asking for the right option what substitution is taking place is it ortho substitution meta substitution para substitution or just elimination of this chlorine atom so we can see what is the reaction taking place here and what is the mechanism for this so here um, in this case uh, this uh, amine can abstract the proton that is adjacent to the chlorine then uh, this electron density will shift in this direction and the chlorine which is a leaving group will get eliminated so benzene intermediate is formed in this system is it clear like how benzene intermediate is formed the proton that is adjacent to the chlorine atom will be abstracted by this amine from sodamide and uh, it will shift in this direction creating a uh, double like a triple bond at this position and the chlorine atom will be eliminated giving benzene benzene is the intermediate in this reaction it is like highly unstable intermediate so uh, now amine can attack from both position we can see like this the amine can attack from both position as marked in pink as well as blue amine can attack from both position so what if uh, uh, attack is taking place from this uh, pink position it will give this intermediate where this amine is coming ortho to the methoxy group and the negative charge will be meta and it will give this ortho substituted product then when attack is taking place from uh, this meta position the amine will come in this meta position and the negative charge will come in the ortho position giving this 13 substituted product or meta substituted product so which will be the major product so how can we understand which is the major product that is formed in this reaction so out of these two intermediates uh, comparing the stability we come we can come to know that in this uh, uh, case here there is a uh, steric hindrance between this uh, methoxy and amine group like they are very nearby and it can cause steric hindrance 
also this anion which is generated at this position this anion will be not st uh, stabilized because of inductive effect of this oxygen like because of inductive effect from this uh, oxygen it cannot be uh, stabilize it cannot stabilize the, stabilize this anion because it is far away from this methoxy group however in this case the amine group is uh, away from this methoxy group so steric concern will not come into picture and this anion which is um, uh, nearby this methoxy group it can be stabilized because of inductive effect of this oxygen group so uh, because of these two factors this will be the major product that is formed in this reaction is it clear yes ma'am okay so uh, again going back to the options option b is the right answer the two possibilities were option a and option b uh, since uh, because of steric factor and stabilization of the anion option b will be the major product that is formed so all other options can be ruled out and this reaction proceeds to uh, benzene intermediate so uh, this question is clear right i will move forward towards question 4 coming to question 4 the correct order of rates of bromination is they have given benzene uh, like mono substituted benzene and two di substituted benzenes and out of this the order for bromination is uh, we have to find the uh, like uh, which is having highest rate for bromination reaction then uh, we have to arrange in the order of uh, their rates so we can see that uh, when substitution on this uh, benzene is increasing the rate of bromination will increase this uh, methyl group can uh, like uh, direct towards ortho para substitution of bromine like uh, and if substitution is increasing like if uh, double substitution is there then rate of bromination will be more so we can see here in case of d this is the ortho position for this methyl as well as this methyl this is the ortho position for this methyl and para position for this methyl and um, this is the ortho position for this methyl and para position for this methyl so at these three positions bromination can take place in either of the three positions bromination can take place so this will be uh, since it is uh, di substituted and in these three positions bromination can take place uh, without any other uh, factor uh, hindrance this will be the one having greater rate of bromination then coming to option c here we can see that this position it is ortho for this methyl group however it is meta position for this methyl group and um, this position it is ortho um, para position for this methyl group however it is meta position for this methyl group and this position this is um, para position for this methyl group however it is meta position for this methyl group and this position it is meta position for this methyl group and ortho position for this methyl group so meta will be if uh, meta product is formed it is like a uh, not favored so this will be having lesser rate so out of b and c b will be having greater rate than c because of the uh, fact that that meta position is coming is it clear this rates of bromination depends upon substitution when substitution like increases like mono will be having greater rate uh, than uh, like uh, and substituted benzene di will be having greater rate than uh, mono substituted product however in this case because uh, meta substitution probability is coming and uh, it will be uh, less favored this will be having lesser rate compared to that of this uh, normal uh, mono substituted benzene so the correct order will be d greater than then b then c and at uh, least uh, rate will be for uh, unsubstituted benzene is this clear hello 
Hello. Mom, once again, tell mom why um, C, uh, sorry mom, B is greater. Uh, okay. Yes, ma'am. D is di substituted. Like uh, uh, as substitution increases, rate of re bromination reaction can increase. So in yes, case of uh, D, it is di substituted, and uh, see these positions. This uh, this position, this is ortho to both of this methyl groups, and this position, it is ortho to this methyl group, and it is para to this methyl group. and uh, this position it is ortho to this methyl group and para to this methyl group so uh, we know that methyl groups are ortho para directing groups like it is electron donating groups methyl groups are electron donating groups and it are uh, those are ortho para directing groups they are not directing towards meta position and in option um, d uh, all the positions where bromination is taking place is either ortho or uh, para to both of these methyl groups because of that it is highly favored and her rate of reaction will be higher in this d is it clear hello yes ma'am and uh, as we can, we have seen here one of the position will be meta in uh, any of the cases in all the four cases one of the position will be meta for either of the uh, methyl groups because of that this is not that favored like uh, intermediate will be unstable intermediate because of that this um, this uh, c is uh, having lesser rate than b is it clear now okay ma'am due to the c is unstable inter gives the unstable intermediate hmm. that's why it's uh, less stable than uh, d yeah because of that its rate is lesser for bromination okay ma'am hmm. thanks okay now we can move forward towards uh, so the answer is uh, d greater than b greater than c greater than a so this is having the greater rate then comes b then comes c and then a as it is least substituted now uh, question 5 is what is the major product of the following reaction what is the major product of the following reaction and they have given a tri substituted benzene system and uh, uh, bromine acetic acid condition so what is the reaction taking place here it is bromination reaction aromatic electrophilic substitution of bromine on the system so they have asked for the major product uh, that is uh, formed in this reaction so uh, four options are given a b c and d so first we can look at the uh, substituents that are present in this benzene system this this is nitro group which is electron withdrawing group electron withdrawing groups are normally meta directing groups electron withdrawing groups are meta directing groups and uh, electron donating groups are ortho and para directing groups that we should keep in mind electron withdrawing groups are meta directing groups and electron donating groups are ortho para directing groups that is clear yes ma'am hmm. so uh, this uh, nitro group is uh, electron withdrawing group and it is meta directing so what is the meta position for this uh, nitro group one meta position is uh, where the cf3 is attached and this is the second meta position so the possibility for bromination to take place is at this position when we are considering nitro group now consider cf3 cf3 is also electron withdrawing group so it will also be meta directing so uh, what are the meta positions for cf3 one position is where the nitro group is present and the second position is this position where a nitro is already directing and amino group it is electron donating group it is ortho para directing 
electron donating groups are ortho para directing so for amino group these two are the ortho positions one is this position and one is the cf3 is attached and the para position nitro group is attached right so the uh, only one possibility where bromination could take place in this reaction is at this position so from these options we can conclude that option b will be the right option where bromination could take place is it clear this option we can rule out because this position is ortho to the nitro group and ortho to the cf3 and meta to the uh, amine group ortho uh, nitro and cf3 are only meta directing so uh, this cannot take place and uh, uh, amino group is ortho para directing so this is meta to amino group and ortho to cf3 and nitro so this option is not at all possible and uh, coming to option c it is para to the cf3 and ortho to the nitro group and meta to the amino group this option is also not possible because uh cf3 and nitro are meta directing and amino group is ortho para directing so it is meta to amino group and para to cf3 and ortho to no2 this option is also not possible and option d they have given instead of uh, bromine substitution uh, acyl acyl group is coming so this option is uh, anyway not correct so the uh, correct option is option b and is it clear why this position is uh, chosen yeah ma'am clear ma'am okay we can move forward towards question option uh, uh, for question 5 option b is the right option now we can move fo forward towards question 6 now they have asked the order of reactivity in the following series of compounds where x denotes substituents indicated in the option below towards nucleophilic aromatic substitution is so we have to find the order of reactivity when x group is changing in this uh substituted a uh, benzene here the reaction that is taking place is nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction so we uh, we have go, uh, seen uh, how the mechanism for nucleophilic aromatic substitution is taking place in the previous uh, in sars lectures and uh, the x groups are nitro group cyano group and a ketone and methyl group so we can see how it is uh, how the uh, x groups are affecting the nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction so what is the hint like more stable the intermediate lesser will be the energy barrier towards its formation so if the intermediate is stable the energy barrier will be less as per the energy diagram and so we will uh, the reaction will take place easier so the rate of the reaction will be higher stable the intermediate lesser will be energy barrier and the reaction rate will be faster so more the electron withdrawing group it have better ability to stabilize the negative charge uh, if there is a negative charge in the system and an electron withdrawing group is also present in the system that negative charge will electron withdrawing group will pull the negative charge towards it thereby decreasing that intensity of negative charge and the stabilizing that system so here this is the mechanism that is taking place in nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction this pyrrolidin ring will attack uh, at the position of this fluorine then this electron density will be pushed in this direction and it will be shifted towards the electron withdrawing group and uh, once this uh, electron density will come back then this uh, fluorine will be removed as a leaving group so this is the general mechanism for nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction so they have given uh, this x group as nitro group cyano group ketone group and methyl group so out of that this um, nitro group is electron uh, the high having highest electron withdrawing ability then comes cyano group then comes ketone and then methyl group so uh, where, where the nitro group is present the intermediate will be more stable so it will be having less energy barrier reaction rate will be more so the order will be in the order of electronegativity 
विच एवर ग्रूप इज हैविंग हायर इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी दैट विल स्टेबिलाइज इंटरमीडिएट मोर एंड हेन्स द रिएक्शन रेट विल बी फास्टर when the barrier for energy barrier for the reaction is less then reaction take place faster is it clear yes ma'am okay so here we we have seen uh, nitro cyano ketone and methyl group nitro is having highest electron uh, electron withdrawing nature then comes cyano then comes ketone and then methyl so the order uh, correct order will be option a where nitro will be the highest electron withdrawing group it stabilizes the um, intermediate so the reaction rate will be faster as uh, energy barrier is lower uh, this reaction will proceed faster so option a is the correct option nitro greater than cyano greater than ketone greater than methyl group is this clear Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now we can move forward towards question seven. This is the question. The products of the following reaction are. So these two are the reactants, and the Lewis acid AlCl three is given. So they have asked for the right option. Like uh, they have given four uh, options, and uh, we have to find like. Uh, which is the major product and which is the minor product so uh, uh, anyone have any idea about what is the name reaction that is taking place here friedel graft reaction ma'am yeah friedel graft alkylation reaction is taking place here so in previous lecture also we have seen the mechanism for friedel graft alkylation reaction so this is the mechanism Here, first the uh, lone pair on chlorine will uh, coordinate with this AlCl3. It will form this intermediate. Then this uh, uh, we know that this uh, halogen like fluorine are ortho para directing. Halogens are or also ortho para directing, and uh, out of this ortho and para, para position will be uh, the major one in case of fluorine. That uh, when you go through the lectures, you can see. and the reason is because of the steric factor since this uh, cf bond is uh, shorter uh, it will cause hindrance uh, if some group is coming at the ortho position it can cause steric hindrance with that uh, group because of that ortho will be uh, lesser compared to para so para will be the major product ortho will be the minor product so we can see how the mechanism is taking place the electron density from uh, lone pair of electrons from this fluorine will be pushed in this direction then this double bond will shift here and this double bond will come and attack at this benzylic carbon atom and alcl4 minus will get eliminated so we will get this intermediate and uh, since aromaticity of the system is lost it is the driving force for the reaction to take place so this proton will be abstracted by any base that is present in the system then electron density will be pushed in this direction and it will neutralize this carbocation giving the product so para product is the major product and we have seen that since fluorine is uh, ortho para directing uh, there is possibility for minor ortho product as well so coming back to the options we can see that uh, in option a they have given meta substituted product option a is not right option then we have seen that para substituted product is the major product so b is possible and option c they have just shown substitution of benzene but we have we are having benzyl group at this position so option c is not possible and uh, option d they have given ortho substituted product this is also right option because fluorine is ortho para uh, directing however ortho will be minor product because of steric factors so the correct option will be the major product is b and the minor product is d is this clear yes ma'am okay now we can move forward towards question 8 which among the following compound will not react under the standard friedel craft alkylation reaction conditions 
and they have given four options so these are the alkyl chlorides uh, that uh, that should react uh, under standard friedel craft alkylation reaction one among these four will not undergo friedel craft alkylation reaction so we can see what is the reason for that and which which among the option is the correct one like which will not react under standard friedel craft alkylation reaction condition so the limitations of friedel craft alkylation reactions are since the carbocations formed by aryl and vinyl halides are extremely unstable they cannot be used in this reaction we know that aryl and vinyl halides form unstable carbocations so uh, those uh, uh, aryl and vinyl halides does not participate in friedel craft alkylation reaction and the presence of a deactivating group on the aromatic ring such as nh2 group can lead to deactivation of the catalyst due to formation of complexes so if some substitution is present on the aromatic ring like amino group lone pair of this amino group can attack on the alcl3 and it will deactivate the catalyst alcl3 is supposed to coordinate with the alkyl halide instead of uh, coordinating with alkyl halide it can coordinate with this amino group and uh, it uh, it will get deactivated so uh, this kind of aromatic rings cannot also participate in friedel craft alkylation reaction an excess of the aromatic compound must be used in these reactions in order to avoid polyalkylation so if a lesser aromatic compound is there and more alkyl halides is there then uh, multiple times uh, al uh, alkyl halide can add on to the system by friedel craft alkylation and polyalkylated product can form so we have to use more amount of aromatic compound in case of friedel craft alkylation reaction then aromatic compounds that are less reactive that monohalobenzenes do not participate in the friedel craft alkylation reaction we have seen that compared to other electron donating groups uh, this uh, monohalobenzenes are less reactive so compounds that are even lesser reactive than this monohalobenzenes they do not participate in friedel craft alkylation reaction so the uh, uh, point that we should keep in our mind to see the options are this uh, aryl and vinyl halides the carbocations that are formed by aryl and vinyl halides are extremely unstable and they cannot be used in this react reaction so we can see among these options any aryl or vinyl halide is there so coming to the four options uh, we can see that this is a vinyl halide system so this cannot participate in friedel craft alkylation reaction and the option uh, is a so uh, this compound a will not react under standard friedel craft alkylation reaction condition is this clear yes ma'am okay so now we can move forward towards question 9 coming to question 9 they asked for identifying the reagents for the following transformations so uh, uh, they have given uh, a transformation where they uh, asked for identifying these reagents a b and c so in uh, transformation a what is the reaction that is taking place it is friedel craft acylation reaction so for friedel craft acylation reaction to take place what are the reagents that are required so uh, alcl3 ma huh, alcl3 and acid chloride so we can see in first three options uh, this ch3 cocl and alcl3 are given uh, and option uh, d they have given only acetic anhydride so this option can be ruled out now we have to uh, see like uh, these three options only and what is the transformation that is taking place from Uh, this compound to this compound like b here we can see that this is acetophenone and this ketone group is electron withdrawing group and because of electron withdrawing effect it can lead to meta substitution of chlorine atom and for substitution of chlorine to take place what are the reagents that should be used 
so uh, presence of lewis acid is necessary for this reaction to take place and uh, so chlorine in presence of fecl3 will only react to give this product uh, we are, when we are using only chlorine this reaction will not proceed so we can rule out this option b and option uh, a and option c is the possibility now now uh, this ketone in this system is reduced into alkene so ketone can be reduced into alkene under what conditions we have uh, studied in uh, like uh, our high secondary like clemenson reduction wolf kishner reduction such reductions can be used for reducing ketone to alkene so out of these two options uh, which is the right option option a will be the right option as this condition is for clemenson reduction the triethyl silyl hydride it can reduce alcohol into alkene not ketone into alkene so this option can also be ruled out is it clear i will show the mechanisms for each step so this is the mechanism for friedel craft alkylation reaction we have acid chloride then this chlorine atom will coordinate with this aluminum of this aluminum chloride to form this intermediate then this electron density from oxygen will shift in this direction and this group will be eliminated to form the acylium ion which is the intermediate for the friedel craft acylation reaction then the benzene ring will attack on this carbon of the acylium ion and this uh, positive charge on the oxygen will be neutralized to give this intermediate now we know that aromaticity of the system is disturbed the system have to regain aromaticity for that this proton should be eliminated Uh, it will be eliminated by this chloride ion which will be present in the system uh, and we will get this uh, acylated benzene this is the mechanism for friedel craft acylation now uh, we we know why meta substitution is taking place for chlorine and this is the mechanism for electrophilic attack of uh, chlorine by uh, uh, electrophilic attack of chlorine on benzene so chlorine will coordinate with fecl3 then this um, benzene can come and attack on this chlor delta positive uh, positively charged chlorine and this system will be eliminated and we will get this chloride substitution chlorine substitution on the benzene ring and we have seen why a uh, meta directed uh, substitution is taking place it is because of this electron withdrawing ketone that is present in the benzene and this is clemenson reduction ketone will be converted into alkene in presence of zinc amalgam so we can conclude the right option is option a where first friedel craft acylation reaction will take place in presence of ch3cocl and alcl3 which is a lewis acid then uh, meta chloro substitution will take place in presence of cl2 and fecl3 then reduction of this ketone will take place in presence of zinc amalgam and hcl which is clemenson reduction is this clear hello yes ma'am okay now we can move to question 10 which is the last question in this tutorial so for the sequence below identify x y and z so here they have asked to identify this x y which is a reagent and z also which is reagent x is the substituent so here what is the reaction taking place when a fluorobenzene is reacted with uh, nitric acid and sulfuric acid what reaction will take place nitration ma'am yeah nitration so uh, x substituent will be nitro group no2 no2 so we can eliminate this last option option b will not be possible now we know that this um, x is no2 and it is converted into nh2 so what is the condition that can be used for reduction of no2 to nh2 the standard condition that is used platinum hyd uh, platinum can also be used hydrogenation according to this option hydrogenation in presence of palladium carbon is also possible see why 
here first y is diazotization option so nitro cannot be converted into like uh, nh2 using this diazotization condition so this option can be ruled out and lithium hydride also uh, cannot convert nitro into nh2 so this option can also be ruled out so we know that uh, this no2 can be converted into nh2 using hydrogen palladium carbon condition platinum metal is also uh, possible then this uh, amine group is converted into cyano group for that uh, now we can see the right option which is here NaNO2HCl NaNO2HCl will uh, do diosotizationization reaction so NH2 will be converted into N2 plus and uh, it will be a good living group and if we treat with uh, CuCN CN minus C is a nucleophile it can come and attack uh, on this N2 plus and uh, it will replace that N2 plus with CN we can see what is happening so uh, we have seen that uh, benzene in presence of HNO3 and H2SO4 will undergo nitration reaction and this is the mechanism for nitration reaction first nitric acid this oxygen lone pair will abstract proton from sulfuric acid and this group will be eliminated then um, this lone pair of electron from this uh, oxygen will shift in this direction H O O H2 H2O water will be eliminated and nitronium ion will be formed nitronium ion is the key intermediate for nitration reaction then benzene ring will go and attack on this positively charged nitrogen electron density will be pushed in this direction and this intermediate will be formed then re-aromatization will take place by abstracting this proton and we will get the nitrated product this is the mechanism for nitration reaction now we have seen that nitrobenzene can be converted into amino benzene in presence of palladium carbon and hydrogen so for conversion of nitro group into amino group the reagent that can be used is palladium carbon in presence of hydrogen so reduction of nitro to amine will take place and uh, next reaction they have asked is uh, diacetization first uh, nh2 in presence of this nano2 hcl condition it will form this n2 plus and uh, this uh, cucn uh, it can uh, this cn minus can come and attack at this position and this is a good living group it will get eliminated and we will get this cyano group is this clear yes ma'am so our right option is option b where x is nitro y is a reduction of nitro to amine where uh, we can use h2 pdc and set this uh, diazotization followed by attack by cucn that is reaction with nano to hcl followed by cucn so these are the questions i am having for this week any doubt from the questions we have discussed so far Ma'am, uh, question number six, ma'am. Question number six. Actually, there is no doubt, ma'am. But uh, hmm. when the intermediate is more stable, then uh, it has a less barrier, ma'am. Huh. And uh, the reaction rate uh, uh, fast. Uh, uh, I had doubt uh, at a point, ma'am. Reaction uh, fast huh. or slow? If uh, see intermediate, like uh, we are climbing a mountain. If that uh, hill is uh, of lower slope, we will feel like um, we can move uh, faster on that mountain. Like we can climb that mountain and come back very faster if that height is lesser. If it is say, a very bigger mountain, it will take lot of energy to climb and uh, reaction rate uh, like our um, rate of climbing that mountain will also be lesser. Similar way only this energy barrier concept. If... Um, this uh, intermediate is stable see this we can see like here this is the starting material this is the product and this is the intermediate if this height is and this is the reaction profile if this height is lesser if intermediate is stable this height will be lesser so we have to 
like this is the energy barrier here also so here intermediate is uh, compared to uh, these two systems if we compare here the intermediate is stabler because it is uh, having uh, lesser energy difference from the starting material compared to this system this is having higher energy difference intermediate is having greater energy compared to the starting material here the intermediate is having lesser energy difference compared to the starting material so here if we are uh, considering it will take lot of energy for uh, climbing this profile understand like energy barrier is more so for uh, forming this intermediate and then forming the product it will take lot of energy compared to this system okay ma so here rate will be lower here rate will be faster if intermediate is stable energy will be lesser so it will take place fastly so rate of reaction will be faster here intermediate is having higher energy so we need more energy to uh, reach the intermediate and then reach the product so here reaction rate will be lower is it clear yeah ma'am okay ma'am okay any other doubts any other doubts no ma'am okay then uh, we can conclude this session so thank you for uh, uh, being uh, with me uh, throughout this lecture and listening it patiently so we can meet uh, next tuesday at the same time 6 to 7 pm thank you thank you ma